All right, guys, and in a surprising turn of events, uh, one of the previous Mr. Olympia uh, in the men's physique, Raymond Edmonds, placing fifth in the men's physique at this year's 2021 Mr. Olympia. Sanchir, welcome back to another episode on the Bodybuilding News Network. If you are wondering, I am sick. That's why I sound sick, just in case you wanted to know. But, um, you know, this is a previous Mr. Olympia. Uh, he won in 2019. I believe he placed top three last year. And then now this year, um, rounding out the bottom of that first call out. Uh, you know, still being a medalist. But uh, it's very interesting to see this kind of changing of the guard on uh, what the judges are looking for or uh, in, in this situation it's actually new talent really rising through the ranks um, people like uh, Chiron Holden people like um, number two Aaron Banks uh, he's new to me uh, speak of the devil Chiron Holden placing fourth at this year's Mr. Olympia in the men's physique And these guys' physiques are really impressive. And you, and, you know, a lot of people talk smack. They don't show the legs. You can definitely tell the ones that train legs and the ones that don't. Um, but there's this really interesting um, predicament that these guys get in is because they put on so much muscle that they actually can't make weight if they even if they wanted to switch up to classic physique. Um, but the, you have to remember the entire uh, reason that men's physique is, is a, a category, a division, class is because it's supposed to be more obtainable it's not supposed to be extreme or hardcore uh, so if somebody wants to just look really good on the beach like crazy good on the beach this is the class for them uh, they don't have to squat you know eight nine hundred pounds they can uh, train look good uh, look good in bathing suit which is literally what they wear on stage uh, as I enjoy some some water, uh, but honestly, guys, uh, I'm really impressed with the with the lineup there the lineup this year in men's physique. I don't always watch it, but big congratulations to Diogo uh, Montenegro, Diogo. Diogo Montenegro. Yeah, he placed third. Uh, from what I heard with the commentary, uh, this is his third Olympia competing. And last year, he placed in the 16th uh, realm. So massive improvement for his placing coming from uh, potentially not even placing to placing third in the world for uh, for his category. So honestly, guys, very impressive uh, from those guys. And then uh, now there was two. Uh, Aaron Banks, winner of men's physique at this year's New York Pro. Uh, very impressive, taller gentleman. Um, maybe not as wide as um, the two-time champion, the defending champion, Brandon Hendrickson. Uh, this guy, uh, there's kind of this joke that he only wins uh, on even years, every every other year. It's 2021, so uh, the... Um, the the curse or whatever you want to call it would say that he isn't going to win this um but i don't know i i don't really see the physique um of aaron banks beating out brandon henderson um brandon's just a lot wider and, and when you think about somebody beating out the champ you have to uh, unequivocally uh without any any thought or doubt uh win if you want to take out the champ that's what you have to do and as we can see here, Aaron Banks did not uh, did not bring enough to knock out the champ. Big congratulations to Brandon Hendrickson on his third men's physique title. I'm sure he has many, many more years in his tank. Uh, but that'll do it, guys. Stay tuned for the Classic Physique Finals and Awards Ceremony. Subscribe if you enjoy this style of content and you appreciate my coverage. My name's Sanch, your host, and I'll see you guys in the next one.